Hi, Chef Heiken here, customer service and experience expert. And today, I'm going to share the one thing that you must do to create a customer-focused culture. The focus for this lesson is really about even just one word, and that word is alignment. Now, one of the most important ways to improve the customer service in your organization is to make sure that everyone in your organization is in alignment with the customer service and or experience vision. While the concept is just one word, there are several steps to achieving this alignment. The first step is to define that vision in simple and memorable terms. So if you've been following my work, go back a few weeks to the concept of creating your customer service mantra, which is my fancy word to describe a customer service vision statement. Before you can get everyone into alignment, you must give them something to align with. I like a vision statement or a mantra that is short and to the point. So if you don't already have a vision for everyone to align to, get one. Assuming you have the customer service vision statement or the mantra, as I like to call it, the next step is to prove how everyone in the organization impacts that vision. And I mean everyone. Start with your basic customer service journey map that shows all of the typical interactions or touch points that the customer has when they do business with you. And you may need more than one map. A customer's sales journey is different than a customer service or support journey. The interactions a customer has on your company's website will be different than over the phone or even in person. And there's a second part of the journey map exercise, which is to show underneath each touch point how all the different departments and roles within those departments impact those touch points. So if done correctly, you'll eventually be able to show how each and every department, and in other words, every person, impacts the customer's experience. I know I'm sounding redundant, but if you haven't already done the crucial steps of creating a vision and a journey map, and I'm surprised at the number of organizations that haven't yet done so, well, you have extra work to do before you can think about getting your employees into alignment. And now it's time to get everyone into alignment. By getting everyone to know and understand your customer service vision and showing on a journey map how everyone, even as individuals, impact the customer's experience, you can begin to train everyone to your vision. And this is simple in concept, but not always easy to do. You must have an effective communication strategy. It can start with an announcement. It must be articulated. It's not just a vision, but also an expectation that everyone must keep in mind, regardless of their role and responsibility in the organization. And just announcing and communicating it is not enough. Each and every employee must be properly trained. It must be consistently reinforced. It must be obvious and almost overt. For employees to get into alignment, they must know it, understand it, and be able to execute it. Customer service isn't just for the customer service department or the front line. It's everyone's job. So if there is one thing that can make a difference in your customer service now and forever into the future, it is to get everyone in the organization into alignment with your customer service mantra. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs as well as hundreds of customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.